Hey, we're Silverstein, and you're on Rock Forever Magazine. Hey guys, it's Tori from Rock Forever Magazine, and I am here right now with the guys from Silverstein. How's it going? Excellent. So good. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now we are going to start with some finished sentence for you guys. You ready to go? I think so. Yeah. Now the craziest fan experience was when? I think Josh has a good one for this, actually. Which okay. one do we like? Because there's a few. One of my favorites was the one time a kid offered to let us sleep on his floor. This was many years ago. And uh, when we got back to the place, it turned out it was not his place. He was house-sitting. And then he proceeded to douse his genitals in nail polish remover and light them on fire. Wait, he, did you yes. just make this up? No, absolutely That's real. not. This is real. That's real. He said he wanted to give us something to, to like, remember him by. Something we would never forget, which... Flaming genitals is something you will never forget. I can still smell it. It worked. Oh. I mean, he was clearly a very dedicated fan. Clearly. And I don't think it gets any crazier than that. So you no. guys have good stories. That's, that's a pretty good one. Was, there a, was that the one you were thinking of? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, is there anything else? Yeah. It's kind of the best one. I mean, sort I really of. wouldn't condone any more fans to do that, though. I, I didn't appreciate it then, and I would not appreciate it now. <laughs> okay, as long as we're making that clear. No, I'm always on Twitter like, yo, someone yo, <laughs> light it on fire. All I want sweet on <laughs> is for some... Nope. Yeah, no. no, we don't like that. <laughs> Not for us. All right, and now I have to ask this question, just because of your new tattoo. Your favorite TV show is... I'm going to have to go with... Um, what was the one you were always talking about? What's that show oh I like? Oh, God. Uh, uh, is it really Big thinking Bang Theory? The Big Bang Theory. Is it Big Bang Theory? No, 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 it's, no. it's Breaking Bad. I got, a, I got a little Heisenberg tattoo in Albuquerque, where the show takes place, because I felt that made it even more special. And I got this hat. And then I'm gonna shave my head and get a goatee, and next thing you know, I'll be cooking crystal meth. And, and that's not even quitting the music. It's not even for Halloween. He's actually just gonna do that I think for like everyday year life. Round, year yeah. round. I I took it really hard when the show ended, and yeah. I think I just might have to make the show go on. I mean, do it. I mean, yeah. they'll recast it. You're in. It's just me. It's yeah, just you're me ready now. to go. And now the best prank you ever witnessed was. Once, I don't know if this is the best, but it's the first one that comes to mind. I remember uh, on the last, maybe it wasn't the last day of tour, it was like the middle of a tour, but um, Pierce the Veil was on the tour. Mm -hmm. And at the time they were traveling in this like weird RV thing. And uh, while they were playing, someone filled their entire RV with helium balloons, like right to the ceiling. Like when they opened the door, they just spilled out. So I guess it's like, it was a really cool looking prank. I don't know that it, it wasn't like super venomous or anything. Like nobody no, got like covered so in pies. Pies. <laughs> that sounds oh, so fun pies. though. Yeah, no one got like a pit of snakes or something, but balloons. I mean, it's like, it's pretty PG. I yeah. guess I like it. I actually no, I remember one that. time we pranked the audience. Well, actually, we do that every night. It's called our set. Ooh. Anyway, oh, oh, hey. um, what I want to say is uh, we were on tour with Paul Marks' old band, and we started our set by having them come out instead of us and be like, hey, we're Silverstein, and start playing the song. And all the kids were like, what is going on They were like, here? yeah, who are no, yeah, get who are out these of guys? here. And then we came out and took the instruments and played our set. And that, that was fun for that us. That was even probably, more disappointing, I bet. Probably really upset the crowd, yeah. I think for that moment, they probably started questioning whether they actually knew who Silverstein was yeah, or if they were just confused. in the right place. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. And now let's see here. The first concert you ever went to was... But I don't know that I've ever been to a real concert. So we'll say Silverstein was your first concert? Is that it? You know what? Based on where I grew up, it very well could have been. Yeah, wow. I, I think probably the first... I think when I was like 13 or, or something, I think I saw Alex. Do you know the band Alexis on Fire? Yeah. I think I saw them. And it was like, at the time, the biggest show I'd ever been to. And there was like 800 people there. So I mean, that's super cool, though. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. awesome. It's a good first concert. What about you? Yeah, I didn't really like it. I, oh, well, <laughs> never mind then. <laughs> I cannot remember for the life of me. I think, like, I, I started going to, like, little local punk shows and stuff mm -hmm. like that before I really went to a big full-on concert, mm -hmm. and I could not tell you who would have been playing. I saw In Excess. Some, some old buddies. You saw In Excess? But, like, after the TV show. Oh, okay. But that was probably the only real concert I've ever been to. I've okay. never been to, like... An arena show. I want to see like Justin Timberlake or Rihanna. Or I thought you were gonna say Justin Bieber, and I was like, I was not gonna expect that I from would. you. I mean, just, I, I actually am maybe one of the few people on earth I can't name a single Justin Bieber song, not wow. one. And it's not that I'm not trying. I don't like hate him for no reason or anything. Like I obviously hate him, but I mean like 
<laughs> for the same reason everyone else hates him. That's just like, stop getting so much attention, you little 15 year old jerk. Like, why you? Anyway. Well, there are your That's thoughts it. on Justin Bieber. <laughs> you want more? I got more. <laughs> <laughs> and now your favorite YouTube video is, you guys watch a lot of YouTube while you're on yeah. the road? Internet. If I have to choose one, that's going to be hard, though. I really like Grape Lady Falls Down. <laughs> yeah, you do I've like that. I've never seen that. No, it's like, like a news reporter doing, like, stomping on grapes, trying to make wine at a winery. And she falls, like, the, the, for some reason, the buckets of grapes that they're stomping in are up on a big platform. And she falls all the way off the platform. And she makes this hilarious noise when she, I think she gets winded. And she's all like, ow, 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 <laughs> ow. <laughs> that's that's Grape Lady Falls Down. Google that. Well, thank I, you for oh, the reenactment. <laughs> I just remember what my actual favorite one is. Okay. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I got too excited. Uh, so I love the noise Grape Lady makes, but if Have I'm going to choose... Have you show Breaking Bad? It's like yeah, the clip. <laughs> they put that on YouTube and it's good. No, um, we actually use the audio from this YouTube video as the, our intro when we walked out on stage on my birthday last year. Okay, right? So That'd be really the, good. They, it was a surprise. They did it for me, and I was maybe the happiest I've ever been. <laughs> There's, uh, I think if you Google, uh, oh, what do they call it? Uh, inspirational kid rides bike type of thing. It'll pop okay. up. It's this little kid that just rode his two-wheeler for the first time. Man, he, he just gets up on the curb and gives you this just inspirational speech that will make you feel like a million bucks. I need to look that up now yeah. because you watch all the good YouTube videos that I'm clearly missing out on. I actually know it off by heart if you want me to do it. Go right ahead. Okay, he gets up on the curb. Can you get this? <laughs> and he's like, everybody, I know you can believe in yourself. If you believe in yourself, you will know how to ride a bike. If you don't, you just keep practicing. You will get the hang of it. I know it. It is exactly like that. <laughs> it's pretty much that. And I it have makes never me felt really, so inspired. really happy. I mean, I've never felt so inspired. Yeah. That if was you amazing. In yourself, so empowering. You can know how to ride a bike. There it is. And now he just talks like that all the time. Uh, not in that right, voice, but those like <laughs> sentences. It would be that, really great to tour with him. Yeah, I, I both hate that video and Josh. <laughs> <laughs> and now, last finish the sentence here for you guys. If you could take over anybody's Twitter for a day, it would be. Our guitar text because it's just terrible and I need to fix it. <laughs> okay, so what <laughs> kind of stuff are you going to post to fix the just Twitter? Apologies. <laughs> <laughs> Apologize I'm to the I'm sorry followers. for the past, I'd say. I'd say it a lot. Oh. <laughs> and what about you? <laughs> Uh, I would actually like to take over my own Twitter. I've not been able to log in in like a month. Oh. I think I need to delete the app and re-download it and see if I can make it happen again. But it just, it, it opens and then crashes, opens and then crashes. I can't, I can't, I no tweeting for me. Only, only Instagrams. Sorry. Okay, so you're going to take over your own Twitter. I would like there to get back is. into there some, sometime. And now your album, This Is How the Wind Shifts, is out right now. So what inspired the title of the album and what's the significance behind it? It's a poem, mm -hmm. or it's okay. a section of a poem by Wallace Stevens. Mm -hmm. um, and we just thought that one line in particular, I like sort of summed up the overall themes on the record. Now, okay. I don't really care to discuss the themes because personally, I don't care. <laughs> you don't care about your own album. No, no. Who cares about I care. aspects of the album? I like okay. very much of the album, think it's a real good one. Okay. But the themes, the themes are for you to decide. We, oh. It's all allegorical, you know what I mean? You just, I got you. you listen to it and you hear the themes you want to hear. I don't want to go around telling people what to feel. Yeah. Uh, I see. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> yeah. That makes a lot of sense now. And what about the album artwork? Because as of right now, the buffalo on the cover seems a little random. Is so, it a buffalo? Is it a buffalo? I or like a... I haven't seen that album yet. Yeah, what are you... Anyway, it, uh, we, <sighs> I think we gave some lyrics and that poem to our good friend and artist, Martin Whitfuth, who has done the artwork for most of the releases that we have put out, uh, and just let him think about it and do whatever art guys do <laughs> when they're thinking about what pictures they want to make. And he made a good picture and we said, that's nice. And then we put it on the CD. <laughs> no, it, it, it has- and his mom put it, it has, on the fridge. Yeah, it's, it's on his mom's fridge. Um, he, there was meaning behind it. I do not fully know how to explain. We've done a lot 
of not sleeping since then. So you can imagine our brains don't work <laughs> so good. I got you. But it is a buffalo it or is. a buffalo type animal. Yeah. So I think you're that, definitely right about it being Okay, I was like, do I not know my animals? I thought I learned this in, in <laughs> it's, kindergarten. It's a giraffe. I don't know how you messed that one up. But. <laughs> okay, and this is a concept album, not necessarily telling like one story, but several different storylines. But could you tell us a little more about the concept and how you guys came up with that idea? Basically, the idea is that in any situation, uh, things can go a number of different ways. Mm -hmm. um, and it can all hinge around... One decision, one action, one one thing can change the path. Mm -hmm. And that is Think how about the wind a coin, shifts. right? Let's yeah. think about a coin for it's a second. Got, mm, it's metal. Maybe more than one side, but not more than two often. It usually just has two sides, right? You think usually. about a coin, it's metal, it's shiny, face, animal, or if it's like a special coin, like a building or something. And you flip it up into the air, right? Right. Up into the uncaring air where the eagles might and <laughs> then depending on how the wind shifts it lands or does not land you on know. one side or the other so it's an uncaring wind some sort of non agent that you know nothing's determined but nothing's not determined and it's sort of just like but it can have effect yeah. on the outcome okay so, so that's basically what the general idea is of the uh, of the record and it's broken kind of into, like, each song has a counterpart song. Right. That, like, the coin I was talking about earlier. Is the other side of that same coin. Okay, so, basically. like, two songs, like, a pair Our of pair. songs goes together yeah. down the track list, basically. Yeah. If you read the, well, if you and have ever even bought the record. Hey, 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 I have it. Record. Excuse <laughs> you. <laughs> you could have look it. at the back, because they're written in side A and side B, and you, the titles read across, and that's how you yeah. know what songs correspond. And the titles yeah. often do have some sort of relation. Sometimes it'll be a start and finish of a sentence mm -hmm. sometimes it will be uh, connected related thoughts. in yeah a connected yes. thought see i noticed this because you have two songs called massachusetts and california right. which i'm assuming those two go together do, right two do. different states they are relative opposite yeah. corners of your vast nation yes uh and one is cold and rainy and full of people that say ka and ba <laughs> and the other is beautiful and sunny and full of burritos not to say that we prefer okay. one over the other no. just to no, be I, kind of no, no love, bias politically we're, correct we're just goofing here Boston's but i've actually never been to massachusetts or california so I actually don't. He's, oh. he's goofing again he's pulling on your leg he's been there but they are they are opposites in a way mm -hmm. they are just a little different so i'm assuming in that way the songs are opposites as the concept Yeah, says. more or less, I okay. would say. Like one is good and one is bad. <laughs> no. I'm just kidding. Yeah, no. They're both love great. Massachusetts. Yeah. That's why we wrote a song about it. Yeah, we love everything. But considering this concept, it does seem like it would be quite complicated while you're making the record. So what's the biggest challenge you guys faced in conveying this concept that you had in mind into an actual album? Hmm. The biggest hurdle usually is explaining it. Yeah. <laughs> well, you did a fine job with the coin. We're, we're trying. We had a lot of coffee. We sat around and drank a lot of coffee, and, lot and of we talks. sort of just, yeah, like, talked through it to a point where we each felt like we understood it. But maybe in different ways. Yeah, and then, and then we made the record, and then once we started being asked questions about it, we were like, wait, oh, no, none of us. Explain. <laughs> wait, we actually don't, maybe. We're not really on the same page. The nice about thing this. about it is, I think, basically that. Each person can take away their own... Thing from it uh, and it can make different types of sense in different ways to different people uh -huh. so it and isn't it that all need, art yeah I shouldn't think so. it be it's, that it's way it's open to your own interpretation so you can you can take what you will from it and it's not necessary uh, that you understand the concept so much as it is necessary that you listen to the songs and enjoy them. Very and true. relate to the concept. So the next record, because I know you're going to ask about no it. Way. I actually wasn't planning on it, but now I'm going to. The next <laughs> record is going to, we're going to take the exact opposite approach. It's going to be like encyclopedia rock. It's going to be nothing but facts. And there will be only one way to interpret everything. Yes. That'll be a, a new route for you guys, won't it? It's going to be very, very boring. Uh, that, I'm very excited for that now. <laughs> I mean, great promotion. Make sure we know it's boring. <laughs> well, I'll buy it. <laughs> and now you guys actually just uh, did a re-release of This Is How The Wind Shifts. So what's new on the album this time around? 
song. Couple of jam. Song. Song. Mm-hmm. Combination of two song, demo of original song. Yeah. Okay. So it's four unheard tracks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, I think fans are going to love that because it's oh, new music from do. Silverstein. They already the do. The new we jams on there. I, I am really a big fan of the new jams that got Good. added. Good. Like, uh, we're, we're actually playing one of them in the set. Okay. Uh, and it is much fun to play. Yeah, we're killing it. I think so people, if anybody, I think people like it too. So if so anybody comes to the We Came as Romans tour, they yeah. get to hear the new yeah, song. Absolutely. So there is yeah. a perk. And you just released a music video about a week ago for A Better Place. And I'm asking about concepts again. But the storyline for that video, what, what was that all about? And how does it tie into the actual theme of the song? No. <laughs> no? <laughs> no? <laughs> Just um, no. I'll take a stab. Okay, go, go for it. Okay, so I, I am actually confused too. So I've, I've <laughs> maybe seen, you need to come explain uh, this. I've seen. Oh, nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> All right. Look, I've seen the video like one or two times, so I think I'm the authority here. Okay. <laughs> the the uh, it starts with a. <laughs> there's a man and there's a car, right? And there's us. He's getting chased. So there's and the car is chasing the man, and you the car whole chases man, man chases car, car is man. Cut. Done. That's basically it. <laughs> that is pretty much it. It's, it's you it's are it up. you are running from your own stuff. You're running from yourself. You create oh. your problems sometimes, and I think that <laughs> is uh, one thing you can say about something. Yeah. <laughs> You know what? This, I am so happy to hear this because I was actually reading some of the comments from fans on that music video. Everyone was so confused. Yeah. The top comment was a little bit of confusion. So thank you for clarifying that. I appreciate well, it. What it is? Yeah. You know what? From your... It's not my problem that people get confused. To be honest. <laughs> well, that's why you do interviews to clear it up, right? I do interviews because it's fun. Yeah. Okay. Well, we are having fun too. Yeah. That's true. And if you guys had to come up with a mission statement of what it is you guys want to accomplish through your music, what would your mission statement be? Get money, get paid. <laughs> yeah, we want... <laughs> In it for the right reasons. We want, like, um, bands, you know, like, they, you know, they aim, I think, pretty low. They want to tour in buses and stuff. But I, I like, I think we should get a boat or a plane or something. Or, and so we're basically not going to stop till we get those things that we jet want. Jet skis. Jet skis. Exactly. We could each have our own. Tour on jet skis. Yeah. I feel like if we just had our own cruise ship, that then we would, like, own a venue and a vehicle, and we just dock up at various ports, then we're making all of the money. That would I be mean, cool. hey, it is possible. I'm pretty sure Paramore is putting on a, a cruise right now. So oh you God. guys are next. Paramore, living the dream. They always have been, too, huh? <laughs> nice. Well, well, you guys are living the dream tour too, on tour. This is more like nightmare. a nightmare. I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> easy joke. You, you teed that one up. Oh, you can't. You, on. you lobbed it over the plate. And we're both... Sp- that's a sports thing, right? We're both really good at sports, so... so yeah. We actually stopped doing our sports to do this. I mean, you guys don't have any time to play sports on tour, maybe on off days? Au contraire. We do more, probably, of sports than we music, do of for music. Sure. <laughs> okay, yeah. what kind of sports are we talking? Oh, we bought a soccer ball. Yeah. Because our tour manager is uh, we British. We bought a basketball. We bought and a basketball net. and net, yeah. Um, a hacky sack? We don't... Actually, we didn't bring that... But those are two more sports than... Frizz? We like to frizz around. We didn't bring one of those either, but we do like it. Is running a sport? I say it's a sport. Absolutely. It's in the Olympics. I think we're the the best at it. We're we're the gold medal band of runners. Good. And now you guys have been a band for 13 years and clearly still very successful, although awaiting a cruise ship. But what do you think has contributed to this success for so many years? Because it's something a lot of bands struggle with. Charm, charm and looks. It really. could be. I mean, I think it's the just that we're so honest and serious when we do interviews, mostly. Yeah. I mean, clearly. I love it. They eat it up. Um, I I couldn't say. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you tell us. We we get asked I mean, that once in a while. You get asked that by little bands that are starting out. Like, right. how do we how do we do it? I don't know. You just kind of <laughs> got to go for it and keep trying your best. And putting your heart and soul into it, and hopefully it pans out. And if it doesn't, at least you tried your very best. I know you can believe in yourself. And then you'll know how to ride a bike. <laughs> and be a band for yeah. going on 400 years. I, yes. We have always maintained our passion for doing this. Mm-hmm. And I think, it actually, you even see some small bands that are just starting out that don't even seem to like playing as much as they like being around this environment I just want to I just want to make music because I enjoy doing it yes 
and the environment's really the worst part. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, it can be kind of hectic sometimes, I assume. Yeah. And what are your plans for after this tour? I mean, we're resting, gonna... apparently, no. but what else? We're no We're going resting. to see more countries. We're we going to okay. go to Europe yeah. right after this. Mm-hmm. And what are you guys looking forward to experiencing in Europe this time around? Expensive stuff. I mean, always. And cool other languages that we don't speak. Mm-hmm. And hopefully some good or great shows. Yes. And... McKellar Bar in Copenhagen. Mm-hmm. And that was pretty good. Right? That sums it That's up, it. doesn't it? That's it. That's Europe for me. <laughs> and anybody who wants to follow you guys on Twitter, minus one, Facebook, Instagram, and all that good stuff, where can they go? Oh. Our Twitter, I believe, is Silverstein. at Silverstein. Our Instagram is also that. At Silverstein. At Silverstein. Facebook, mm, Silverstein. Silverstein. And our website is silversteinmusic.com, no but there's not much on there because yeah. everybody just likes And if you want to look at our individual stuff, mm-hmm. I wouldn't. But if oh. you want to, <laughs> he's Paul Mark. You can find it. Oh, We're around. Gosh, you it. can look off our other. You'll, you'll just follow us. the branches of the tree down until you pick an apple. <laughs> You're the apple. I mean, there's a visual. There you go. Pick the apple. Their Twitter accounts. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for hanging out. This has been a really fun interview. Yeah. And okay. everybody watching, make sure you check out Silver Scene. You can get their album, This Is How the Wind Shifts, on iTunes right now. And while you're at it, subscribe to our channel for more interviews. And I'll see you next time. Bye.